I believe in love. There are many definitions of the word love, including an intense feeling of deep affection, a great interest and pleasure in something, and to feel a deep romantic or sexual attachment to someone. Love can mean so many things and can be expressed in so many ways. You can love your family, your friends, your boyfriend or girlfriend, God, and many more. There's something just about saying that word that is so powerful. Telling someone you love them can be life-changing. When you realize that you have that strong of a connection with someone, you do not know what to say besides that word, even though there are so many more words that you can use to express how you feel, such as to adore, to have an infatuation, a passion, a fondness, and so much more. It really is something everyone should believe in because once you do believe in love, it's hard to let go of. And even though it can be scary, it is something truly spectacular. I believe in the power of words. Words can have the biggest impact on someone, and a lot of people don't realize that. Words can have the power to heal someone's broken heart or earn their way into someone's heart. They can sometimes have a negative impact on someone, which can lead to someone getting hurt or harmed, so you have to be careful. Expressing how you feel with words can make someone feel like they have lifted a ton of bricks off their chest, or can help someone communicate better with the person they're trying to talk to. Right words spoken at the right time can make all the difference in building people up. Choose well. Michael Hyatt. Expressing how you feel through words can help you so much in situations and people sometimes take it for granted when they decide not to use words. I believe in spending time with family unplugged. So many people nowadays are always on their phones or some device. You can go to a restaurant and you will see a family with at least one member on their phone, not connected to the conversation the rest of the family is having. I think I notice it a bit more than most people because I don't get to see my family as often. But I notice it even when I go to my friends' houses. Their families will be at their house as well, and my friends just want to watch a movie or a video instead of enjoying the moment and talking to their family. For me, family is much more important than seeing the latest Instagram post or watching the newest YouTube video uploaded by a popular YouTuber. I love turning my phone off and just enjoying the time I have with my family members whenever I am with them, because it is what's important in life. I love getting out of my comfort zone. Sometimes it is a good thing to be in a place of comfort because you know what you are good at, but sometimes you need to be pushed. It is good to seek discomfort at times because it is at your temporary discomfort that increases your long-term comfort. If you think about it, if you're always in your comfort zone, you are always going to be thinking to yourself that the things that are scary are always just going to be a thought in your mind instead of an action. If you never take initiative and do it, then you're always going to be standing still instead of moving forward. And sometimes, yes, you will mess up and you will be embarrassed, but that is the fun one. God didn't make so many beautiful things on this earth just to be seen, but to be explored and used by the people he created.